SEC sues Coinbase over exchange and staking program. Stock drops 13%. I cannot wait to read this article. The SEC sued Coinbase on Tuesday. Shocker. Alleging that the company was operating as an unregistered exchange and broker and at 13 assets. Wow, 13. I'm surprised you didn't say every asset. Listed on its platform were considered crypto asset securities. The regulator asked that the exchange be permanently restrained and enjoined from doing so. The suit comes just one day after the SEC sued Binance and its founder, CZ. The SEC has alleged that 13 assets on Coinbase were considered crypto asset securities. Those assets included Solana, Cardano, and Filecoin. Okay, nothing new there. I want to see what else. The SEC described the staking program as a way for investors to earn financial returns through Coinbase's managerial efforts. The SEC says the five stakeable crypto assets are considered securities under its inter interpretation of the law. So I find that funny. Interpretation of the law. When Gary Gensler got asked to interpret this law in front of Chairman McHenry on Ethereum, he was like babbling and not and just getting nervous and shaking. So I guess they can write this confidently in an article, but they get questioned and they kind of just get scared. So, I don't know, just something funny I noticed. An assessment that will no doubt be dispute, disputed by Coinbase. Of course, guys, because they know this is an empty argument. The exchange has already received the Wells notice from the regulator earlier this year. Yes, I remember that. A letter notifying a company when SEC action is pending. The SEC must have a lot of time on their hands. They're going after Coinbase and Binance, the two big exchanges. This is not random. They know what they're doing. They had the large amount of beginners on their platform. A lot of users, the largest amount of users on their platform. This can cause more, uh, the most panic and the most manipulation, the most selling pressure. And this can literally control the tide of the market if the majority believe and are fearful from what the SEC is doing. This is not a random lawsuit, guys. I want you to uh, know that, which is why I was laughing at the start of this video. This is the SEC probably losing to XRP Ripple, and they're just trying to take as many uh, people down with them as they can while they go down. So I am not too concerned about this. I mean, I'm surprised they didn't call every crypto a security because, you know, the SEC, there's nothing safe from them when it comes to that. So this must have just came out because Bitcoin just went above 26K. I personally believe, just like I said yesterday, this is going to be a nothing burger. Like, you know what's going to happen? This is actually pretty good for the market. And hear me on this. After this ends up being nonsense, when you see this happen again, you're not going to be as fearful as you probably are now. I understand uh, many people that follow me are beginners. This is probably your first market where you see this kind of foot out there. But Coinbase already said they're fighting back. CZ, I mean, I know I'm not the most uh, keen on him, you know, especially with what he's done in the past with the manipulation he's, you know, said. But I still don't want to see him get attacked. And I still think uh, this is all unfounded, empty arguments that the SEC is kind of just, just trying to, like, hit a dart at the wall and trying to hope one sticks in the center. Like, this is a long shot. I really don't think... Uh, the SEC's got a chance against Coinbase and Binance. I mean, obviously anything can happen. I understand some people are scared by this. To me, this is nothing. I just take these opportunities when I see discounts in crypto, and I just buy. I really don't care anymore. None of this stuff phases me anymore. I mean, like I said, if you saw the interview with Chairman McHenry a while back when he interviewed Gary Gensler, the first thing he asked him was, what is security and what's a commodity? Gary Gensler started to explain what it was, right? Then he said, is Ethereum a security? And Gary Gensler started shaking and didn't answer the question on multiple occasions. Directly asked, and he didn't answer it. But he can write in articles, we think it's a security. We think Algorand security, Polygon security, Cardano is security. If he got asked to understand, do you think he's going to answer that with those cryptos? I doubt it, guys. Like, this is an example of someone who's a keyboard warrior who's probably not going to say much in court. And listen, this is why I keep saying the XRP Ripple case is super important because if the SEC loses, all this is going to go away. It's all going to go away. Like, right now, I'm taking this as an opportunity. If you miss the bottom and you're looking for a big discount in crypto, this is it, guys. Like, this fun. It's not random. Right now, we're in the accumulation stage. Some people think we're in a bull cycle. And so all this coming out 
is like the perfect time for them to manipulate the majority of investors so they can buy in cheaper. That's something you're going to continue to see in the market. Manipulation, manipulation. It's going to zero. And then when the market, you know, it turns into a bull cycle, it's the reverse trend. We're all going to the moon. Everything's going to be 100%, 1,000% all-time high. And then they take profits on you. It happens every single cycle. This is really nothing different. The only difference this cycle from last cycle is that, you know, regulation is definitely needed. And we haven't um, yet seen that. We haven't seen any clarity as well. So that's why we're seeing all this confusion is that the SEC is targeting everybody but not giving us clarity. It's like a cop writing you a speeding ticket. He tells you he's writing you a speeding ticket and then you ask him, well, how fast was I going? And he's like, doesn't matter. Here's your speeding ticket. That's exactly what the SEC is doing pretty much with these you know, unfounded uh, lawsuits. Like They're basically saying that these exchanges are doing this, A, B, and C. They have you know, apparently proof that they're doing it. But then when asked about it, they had no answer. So this is why I'm pretty confident this is going to be a nothing burger. And, you know, I understand some of you are scared. I see cryptos like Algorand, Cardano. You guys are like terrified. I understand how FUD can be sometimes. Uh, experience will teach you that most of this will blow over. Uh, but this is, I think it's going to be nothing. Honestly, I think it's going to be a short-lived dip again, just like we saw last yesterday. Like Bitcoin barely went down. It went from 27K, I think, or you know, 26 to 25K and change. It didn't even break 25,000 on that news with Binance. So Coinbase, I mean, right now it, it just went up to 26K from a few hours ago when it woke up. Bitcoin's going up right now, 26,149. So maybe the news didn't hit. I mean, this is released two, three hours ago. But Bitcoin doesn't care. Bitcoin just keeps going up. So I think the majority of investors, especially the smart money, they also don't care about this. They know the SEC is losing their fight with Ripple and they're kind of just pointing fingers and trying to target everybody as a last resort to manipulate the market. But I think people are starting to realize they're not as confident in what they call a security versus a commodity as they once thought because of it's just like it, it's laughable now because this is like, like, what the hell are they doing here? Like you're meant to protect the investors in the U.S., and all you're doing is trying to hurt investors from making money. Like you're going after staking platforms. You're going after every single crypto, not because you're protecting and trying to put our interests at heart. It's because either you're trying to make your, your friends money, which I'm not saying is the truth, but obviously anything can happen, or you're just trying to control everything. So it, it really is unfortunate to see this. I mean, you, you don't see this to a large extent in the stock market. You still see manipulation there as well, but because crypto is emerging and it does have a strong chance at not just replacing the dollar one day, but being an alternate currency and having blockchain tech and tech in general, DLTs, be used to a high extent someday and potentially mass adopted, a lot of people like them are scared of this happening. People are scared of change to begin with. That's why they say when people change, it's very rare because change is a scary thing at times. And I think they're just... They're just trying to control everybody, they're trying to control everything, regulate it. And, you know, we're going to see some of this leading up to the bull cycle. It's not going anywhere, but this is, you know, it, this to me is nothing. Like, I, I'm not concerned whatsoever. I'm actually glad Coinbase is fighting back. It does seem like CZ and Binance will also fight back. These exchanges are not worried, guys. Like, even Bittrex, when the SEC targeted them, like, Nobody's really taking them seriously anymore. And I'm not saying the SEC is, you know, nothing to take note of. Like, you obviously want to see what they're doing. But it goes to show you that they're kind of just doing things based on emotion, based on manipulation, at least from what I'm seeing here. It's like, you know, if you're going to call 13 cryptos a security, at least list what those are and say, you know, and give us further information. They're kind of just... They're kind of just grabbing and trying to see what they can get. That's what it seems like. It seems like someone's on a heist... You know, trying to steal whatever they can get, and they're they're just loading their bag, but they're not really looking at what they're actually doing. Anyway, just want to give you guys my thoughts on this. Uh, if crypto ends up reacting bearish, which right now it's not, I'll just take it for what it is—a big discount and buy more. I bought more crypto today, and I'd be happy to buy some more. By the way, if you guys are interested in reaching out to me, talking to me, or just being a part of a like-minded community of investors, feel free to join my Patreon and Discord. The link will be in the description. I would love to see you there. And if you guys are looking for a cold storage wallet, I still recommend the Ledger. I had someone ask me, uh, you know, why do you still recommend it? 
I understand they did themselves a disservice by coming out with that recovery uh, phase program. But as far as I can tell, that is an optional service. And obviously, I would not tell any of you guys to use that service. But in terms of the cold wallet itself, I still like the Ledger a lot. I still think it's a safe and secure cold storage wallet. And personally, I'm still waiting for the stacks, but I do know some Discord members who have the Nano X and they like it a lot. But if anything were to change on that, I would update you guys in the future. Anyways, now I want to hear from you. How do you feel about these news with the SEC now suing Binance and now suing Coinbase? And what do you think will be the outcome for all this? Let me know down below in the comments. If this video helped you in any way, please leave a like. It really helps so much. That being said, I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.